Hi everyone! If you are new to my channel, welcome! I am Teacher Mark Anthony Gomez. If you want to watch the previous lesson about solving problems involving permutation, you will see the link on the description below. Are you ready to deepen your understanding about permutation? Very well! Shall we start? Today, let's talk about your decisions from permutation. You try this problem that involves permutation with condition. You may pause this video and solve. Okay, I think you are done. Let me see if you got the correct answer. Let me read the problem. Find a distinguishable permutation of the letters of the word corona if there are no restrictions. No restriction means in any place or position. The formula is P is equal to number of letters factorial all over number of same letters factorial. How many letters do you have? Yes, you got it right. There are six letters. So that is six factorial. Since we need to count the distinguishable permutation, Which letters are identical? Yes, correct. There are two identical O's. So, two factorial. Six factorial is six times five times four times three times two times one divided by two times one. Cross out the same numbers. What is the final answer now? Yes, 360. Let's check your answer for the next condition. The vowels stay together. Did you show an illustration like this? I hope so. Please remember, the vowels are counted as one. So three consonants plus one, you have four letters. What is the formula? Permutation of the new count of letters times permutation of the vowels since the vowels can arrange in its place when staying together. Do you think we missed something? Alright, we must divide the permutation of the identical letters again. Let's represent the permutation. Permutation of 4 taken 4 for a new count of letters times permutation of 3 taken 3 for the permutation of vowels divided by Permutation of 2 taken 2 for identical O's. That's 4 factorial times 3 factorial divided by 2 factorial equals 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 times 3 times 2 times 1 divided by 2 times 1. Cross out the first number. Then multiply the remaining numbers equal to 72. Great! Now let's see if my solution to the third condition is the same with your solution. This is the illustration arranging them separately. Did you do the same illustration too? Well done! Either consonant or vowel can be placed first. How many ways did you get? You are correct. There are two ways for alternating position. To solve, we need to find the permutation on ways of alternating position times permutation of the consonants times the permutation of the vowels. And we divide it again to what? Yes, to the permutation of the identical letter O's. It is equal to Permutation of 2 taken 2 for alternate position, permutation of 3 taken 3 for the consonants, and permutation of 3 taken 3 for the vowels, divided by permutation of 2 taken 2 for identical letter O's, equals 2 factorial times 3 factorial times 3 factorial, divided by 2 factorial. Do we have the same number? 
Yes, that is 2 factorial. Cross them out so the remaining numbers are 3 factorial times 3 factorial equals 3 times 2 times 1 times 3 times 2 times 1 for another 3 factorial equal to 36. Good job. I know you got it right. Now, you want to try more problem to test your mastery? Okay then, you try this. You may pause the video while trying to answer the problem. Start. I think you are done? Then try to compare my solution to yours. Watch this. Did you get the same answer? If you got it, well done! And if not, try the last problem once more. Okay, let's see if you got the correct answer. Let's illustrate. Two people insisting to sit beside each other are counted as one. You count their seats. Start. Did you count it right? You count five seats, right? Nice. For the formula, did you use this two? Great. That's 5 minus 1 factorial times permutation of 2 taken 2 equals 4 factorial times 2 factorial. Then, 4 factorial is 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. 2 factorial is 2 times 1. So that is equal to 48. Thank you for learning with me. You are an advanced learner indeed. Don't forget to subscribe.